Hi, I am Erik. I'm from a northern small town uh, called Luleå in Sweden. And uh, you're watching <laughs> Trucker Josh vlogs on YouTube. Well, the sun has decided to join us. And we're uh, about a third of the way back home. Uh, we're on the I-94 west of Minneapolis. I'm just pulling into this rest area here. And uh, I'm gonna go check my load. It's time for a load check. Make sure the straps are still tight. Make sure the tarp is still on properly. Make sure that nothing's wrong. Oh, there's still a lot of people. Oh, it's still early. That's why people haven't even started their day yet. It's still packed in here. Thanks. I'm used to being on a total different schedule. Usually when I pull into a rest area in the middle of the day, it's not this full. I guess there's a spot right here. Yeah, it's still right full. Wow, everyone's still sleeping. Well, the tarp is still there, so that's a good sign. Straps underneath here. Check to make sure they're all still tight. They'll actually come around here with the, the actual snipe and test them all out. That's a lot better. So I'm feeling pretty good actually for having started work at 2.30 in the morning. And that tarp job turned out pretty good, I must say. Nice and even. Look at that. It's like a Christmas present. Huh. Oh, what's going on here though? What's this all about? Why is this poking out? Uh, this is a little... I don't like the way that looks there like that, but it still does the job. It doesn't look as good as the other side, though. The other side looks much nicer. Let's go look at that side. I want to look at that side. Much nicer. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Tarps are dirty, though. Need to get them washed. It's just... Whenever I go through the wash bay, I don't have... The tarps out, you know, usually they're all rolled up and I wish I had a pressure washer at home, I'd take them home and wash them myself, but it is what it is. Everything looks good, I'm just gonna quickly go around and test all the straps, make sure they're still tight, and then we'll be on our way. I washed my windshield before too and it's summertime. So the bugs are in a very depressed mood and Seem to want to commit suicide. 173 kilometers. More often than not. I don't know why they got to include me in that decision. I don't want any part of it, but I fly in front of my truck. Nothing I can really do about it. I see it as a good sign that summer is here, you know? So this is uh, we're right by Alexandria, Minnesota. We've actually made it pretty far. I actually haven't been paying attention to the towns I've been passing. I thought we were still uh, on the east side of Sauk Center. Well, today's been a really weird day. I'm gonna stop for a little nap here. Uh, where am I? I'm about an hour from Moorhead, Minnesota, Fargo, North Dakota, uh, or an hour from the I-29. And uh, I'm not too tired right now. But I've also been up since 2.30 this morning, and I don't want to be completely useless and tired tonight when I'm with Britt. So I'm going to stop for about, a, well, I'm going to go to bed for about two, two and a half hours or so. Just get a little bit of a power nap in so that I can get home in about, well, I'm about five hours from our yard. I can get home this afternoon and actually have some energy to get some stuff done or just to hang out with her or watch a movie or whatever we feel like doing. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to get home and probably fall asleep shortly after and then I don't get any time with her, right? Then I'm, well, what's the point of getting home early if I'm just gonna go to bed and waste a whole evening away that I could spend with her? So I'll sleep a little bit here, get home a little later, but I'll have energy to stay awake, right? Tomorrow we're going to the beach. I'm excited. Uh, I think we're going to the St. Malo beach, uh, unless if she changes her mind. I don't really care where we go, wherever she wants to go. 
Uh, she wants to get out, or I can tell she wants to get out and uh, enjoy the summer, just by the way she's been talking, and uh, I figured, hey, why not take Sunday and go to the beach? I think that's a good Sunday activity. Spend some time there, go in the water. It's gonna be fun. I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. Two and a half hour nap. I don't know if that helped. Probably noticed later more so. I still feel a little tired, but good to go. We got another three and a half hours to the border, about four and a half or so hours to our yard. So not that far, not that far. All right, let's get going, I wanna go home. Time is now 9.30 in the morning. What a weird day, weird schedule. At least now that I had a nap, I'm more on the normal schedule, right? I don't wake up so early all the time. Been working since what, 2.30, 2.45 this morning? I'm glad the rain is getting itself all out of the way today so that we can have a sunny day at the beach tomorrow. It's supposed to be 31 degrees Celsius all day. Well, at the peak anyways. It's gonna be a great day to be there. Really looking forward to it. 31 Celsius, what is that in Fahrenheit? Hot? Well, it's not like Arizona hot. It's more like, uh, you know, Minnesota hot. Hot for us. It's probably what, 95 Fahrenheit, somewhere, 100 Fahrenheit, somewhere around there. We're getting close to the border. 33, 35, something like that, 30 some kilometers. Maybe about 25 miles. be at the Canuck border where we will cross over the imaginary line and hopefully it'll be a quick and smooth crossing hopefully this time my load all checks out with the border patrol and they don't have to get me to untarp everything and go through my stuff again but whatever if they need to I got nothing to hide and a closed scale is once again the best kind of scale. They're my favorite. You know, my my scale bypass system is linked in through my e-log system, right? And uh, usually when I had my old e-log system in here, I would get bypassed past the scale, get the green light to just bypass the scale at least like 90% of the time, right? Always bypassed. Since I got this new e-log system in here, I have to pull in. It tells me to pull in every single time, 100% of the time. So I've got to ask them to look into that. <coughs> That's kind of strange that it would go from almost always bypassing me to suddenly always pulling me in. Like, uh, sometimes I can go right past the scale, right? And my e-log will ding and it'll give me a message whether or not I have to pull in or not. I had to stop on the way home and pick up some uh, some drugs. Uh, these are for Frankie. Yeah, it's for his uh, enlarged heart. We'd almost run out and Britt called me and asked me to stop by our drug dealer, the vet, on the way home. So now we've, that was our only errand, Chevy. You wanna go home? I wanna go home. Let's go. This truck is so dirty. I'm gonna have to clean this thing up before Britt gets in here. Our vet is super country and down the back roads. We're gonna try and find a, a way out of here. I'm trying to find a shortcut, a truck route shortcut. There's a lot of these back roads that were close to the Steinbach. So a lot of these back roads have like uh, beautiful, beautiful homes like in these bushes here and stuff. And a lot of them don't allow trucks. They don't want their fancy gravel roads to get all damaged. Or whatever this road is. This road is nice and uh, whew, nice and oiled. But the oil is running out up here. And then it's just gravel and I kick up quite a bit of dust with the truck. I think this road up ahead here. I'm trying to get back to Steinbeck somehow. 
I don't know, I'm, I'm exploring a little bit. What? Put me on a back road and I get carried away. I guess I should clarify, I'm not pulling a trailer right now, I'm bobtailing. It's not like I'm pulling a load of trailers through here. Oh, that barn collapsed there finally. Oh, that's a mess. Wow. I think I used to know people that lived there before that barn collapsed. Yikes, that was an old barn. Look at this beautiful home off on the right. Wow. That's, that's country. Now they have a pool. They have a pool in Manitoba. Well, if they get a pool, I want a pool too. I'm gonna have a pool one day. Before I retire, I want a pool. And that's that. It's a long day. You know what? No, I'll try that again. And that's that. What a long day. Chevy, did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? We've been home for a little while already. Just getting ready to go to bed. Tomorrow is Sunday, so we won't be making any videos or editing or anything tomorrow. But Britt and I are going to the beach, spending the day there, hoping uh, my mom will be able to stop by and her dad and stepmom might stop by as well. So we'll see what happens. If no one stops by, then it'll just be me and Britt hanging out at the beach. I'll see you guys the day after tomorrow on Monday. Take care and have a good one. Hello, this is Ian Alfano. After 30 years in the trucking business, I've settled here in the sea turtle nesting capital of the world, Satellite Beach, Florida. But the way I get my day started each morning after drinking my coffee is with Trucker Josh Vlogs. That's TJV on YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out Brit's Beat. Also a special shout out to all my buddies, Diesel, Frankie, and that little tiny lap dog, Chevy. Tune in.